talk about valley fever and how it affects people. This week we wanted to talk about how it affects animals. Yes, yeah, so joining us here this morning is Dr. Tressa McClellan with Scottsdale Hills Animal Hospital. Thanks so much for joining us. This is You're so welcome. important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, I would think that dogs would be more susceptible mm -hmm. to this just because they're always kind of rooting around and sniffing in, in, in the, the dirt. dirt. Yeah, exactly. Is That's, that true? Yeah, so basically it's transmitted. There's these little spores in the dust and um, they inhale it. They're always sniffing around. And uh, when they inhale it, it goes to their lungs. And so primarily we'll see lung infections from it. Um, some dogs don't show any signs of lung disease or pneumonia and um, it can go systemic so and then infect other organs. So systems. they can still have valley fever, but they're not showing any symptoms? Yes. Okay, so yeah. are, are they susceptible during the big dust storms or is this pretty much something we need to worry about all year round because of all the dust that we have? I would say all year round, probably there's gonna be more dust, be, like construction areas, mm -hmm. things like that. Um, I don't know a lot about humans, but I feel like a lot of construction workers are more exposed mm -hmm. just because they're, you know, a lot of dust. But uh, there's not really great prevention um, other than like grass, turf, mm -hmm. rocks, anything you can do in your yard to um, prevent all that dust from being up in the air. <gasps> Oh, she, 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 she sees, sees the, the dogs, dogs on okay, TV. Ronnie, get the doggies. <laughs> you get those doggies, Ronnie. Get so, the, hey. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. So what can you, <laughs> what can you look out for? What are some of the symptoms that you might see uh, in your own pet? <laughs> Gosh. So in your own pet, um, decreased appetite. You're gonna go with your father a little bit. Um, decreased appetite. Um, just listless. Um, some of them just, um, they're just really tired. Mm -hmm. um, cough is the, okay. one of the main things, but some don't show that at all. I mean, I've seen dogs come in with seizure activity. Wow. Um, I've seen them come in with severe limping. We were just talking about um, that. It, it can affect their bones. Yeah, yeah, okay. exactly. So how do you, do you bring them in to get them tested once a year? If you can't see these symptoms, how do you know if they might have valley fever? Yeah, so we usually don't test just randomly. Okay because there's so many dogs. There's, it's actually like 70% of dogs have been exposed within wow. our counties. And so there's only six to 10% that get sick. Okay. So um, we'll do random blood work on some dogs and they'll have like a low titer and it's like, well, are they showing signs? Then it's not really worth treating them okay. because it could just be that they were affected uh, or infected with it and their immune system fought it off. Yeah. So what, yeah. Real quick, we only have a couple seconds left, but what is kind of the treatment for a dog that you do suspect mm -hmm. has valley fever? Yeah. Most commonly we use valley or fluconazole. So fluconazole, um, you have to do some shopping around for pricing because okay. certain pharmacies are going to be more expensive than others. Um, some are better. There's a good website called goodrx.com. You can look. Mm -hmm. um, I always tell clients that. Um, some cases that aren't responsive to fluconazole, um, we'll recommend doing itraconazole. It's a little more expensive. So there, there's other options okay. definitely, but if they have bone pain, if they have brain problems, oh. a lot of times we'll do prednisone, anti-seizure meds, um, sometimes other anti-inflammatories to help with the pain. So there's treatment out there. Uh, yeah. Website where people can find you? Yeah. So we're at scottstillhillsah.com. Um, we're at the corner of Scottsdale Road and Thunderburn. Um, a lot of people know like where Arriva Derchies is. Yep, and just right there. Yeah, so it's there. Um, and then we also have other locations, AZ Pet Vet. So we've got 21 total hospitals, so you can go and check out AZ Pet Vet. Too. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Yeah. Yeah. So, sorry you don't want to be on TV. Aren't you? Get the doggies, get the doggies. Get the we'll doggies. be right back. Yeah. Thank that you guys. That was funny. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that was so funny.